right gang here's where we're at well the guitar is stained up it dried pretty good uh, i thought that was a blemish there but that is the binding so now we're into the binding scraping which uh should be interesting i've already kind of started as you can see i gotta scrape all the binding off the tool i'm using well we're gonna tie it into wet shaving that little thing looks familiar doesn't it that is a gem PTFE blade. So thanks to Sean Arter. This is one of the blades uh, Sean gave me. This should work out perfect. So I'm going to switch the camera angle around. Um, try and get you guys in some of this. And I'll show you a little bit of some of the scraping. Really, it's just simple. I have a, a headlamp on. I'm just going right along the edge. Revealing that binding. If I scuff up the top a little bit, I don't really care. Because it's going to be covered uh, in a vinyl wrap. That's actually going to be going right to the binding anyway so this is kind of i'm not going to be sloppy but if i do make a little little tiny mistake like there's a couple blemishes in the stain down here it doesn't matter because this is all going to be covered with a wrap that's going to go right to the binding anyway so as long as the binding looks crisp and clear we're good to go so i'll switch this around Show you a little bit of this, and uh, and then after that, it'll be clear coat.
All right, gang, welcome back uh, with the Guitar Project. So, clear coat day. Yes, uh, I have the guitar all stained, as you can see. Top looks pretty good. Not really worried about the top because I am doing, uh, doing a wrap over that. But there's a look at that binding, the sides, the back. Yeah, I think it's looking pretty, pretty darn good. Uh, little issue when I was scraping the binding, I got a little kind of crazy and uh, scraped the sides as well as the binding. So I ended up masking off the binding and then um, ended up masking off the binding and then going over it again. Uh, and then that left the line of stain and then I was like, oh, I can't leave that. So I stained the sides in the back a second time or a third time, I should say. And uh, yeah, I'm very happy with how it turned out. So. Product we're using for the clear coat on this is Minwax Polycrylic. I wanted something that dries clear because uh, I am putting a wrap over this and I wanted something non-toxic. It is winter here in Canada. We're doing this inside the house. I didn't want to get into using uh, polyurethane and all that stuff. So I've done lots of research, lots of video watching. So now it's time to just uh, Time to just get in and do it. This is a water-based, a water-based finish. It's very, very milky. We're just gonna stir it very gently. According to everybody on the interwebs and Minwax, you don't want to introduce bubbles into this. I'm gonna use a foam brush. I do have a couple of styrofoam blocks I made up here to try and just keep it elevated while I, uh, do the sides and the back and uh, hopefully 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 we will get a good a good coat on this going for a thin coat are we gonna do three coats and think just use a foam brush three thin coats light sanding in between this has to dry for two hours minimum depending on the temperature in your house so it could take a little bit longer Hopefully not, but at because at that rate, at this rate, this is like a six-hour job today <laughs> between doing this and letting it dry. So I guess there's no time like the present. Just get some on the brush, and we'll go. going for thin coats. The top, like I said, I'm not too concerned about. It's really the sides and the back that more worried about I just want a good base coat on the top here for that wrap to stick to and this stuff actually doesn't smell too bad that's good Now I'm kind of doing what I shouldn't be doing, adding some brush strokes in to make sure it's all shiny. Get right to those pickup routes. the fun part. Try and spin this without touching anything on the top. I 
And there we go. Want to make sure I get in all the little cracks and crevices. And like I said, this will be sanded back. That looks pretty good for now. So I'm gonna get everything cleaned up and wait for. Two hours. See you later. All right, gang. So here we are. We uh, we have the guitar clear coated. I'm gonna show you that before I start. Uh, before I start getting into the well, the the nitty gritty of uh, doing doing the wrap. So here we have it. She's looking a little bit of shine. It's not a perfect factory finish on it. You're going to see some brush strokes, especially if I get it in like right close. You're gonna see some, you know, you're gonna see some marks. It's not 100%, but you know, from back normal picture range, I think it looks pretty good. I think it looks pretty good indeed. So what we have to do now is I have to get this ready for the wrap. So I have this special tape right here that I am going to uh, I'm going to put on the guitar. But we're going to do that in the next video. So the next video will be uh, we'll be getting this all wrapped. So we'll check you out then. <laughs> 